Kurt and Anna Langenegger emigrated in 1956. They were doing what many had done over the years, escaping a post-war Europe for a better and more prosperous life in Australia. My grandfather, Kurt, iconically in our family known as Orpa, was hired by the Swiss National Olympics team as a chef for the upcoming 1956 Games. Unfortunately, the Swiss team pulled out of the Games in protest due to Russia invading Hungary, and coincidentally, Orpa ended up becoming a chef for the Russian team. The quintessential matriarch of the family, Anna, who we lovingly called Orma, said Orpa always promised her they were, of course, going to go back home to Europe after the Games. Of course, they never did, as Australia proved too prosperous at the time. And better off for it am I, who's lived a blessed life in this country. Orpa became a chef at multiple hospitals and restaurants, even starting his own, as well as a university lecturer, and was even the head of catering at Geelong Grammar for 25 years. He even went on to become the mayor of Newtown and was heavily involved with Rotary. As I've come to find out through the years, my grandparents were exceptionally well known and respected in Geelong. They say behind every great man is an even stronger woman, and that's certainly what Orma was. She didn't take nearly as many jobs as Orpa after the games, but was by his side at every step and had the most difficult task of all, pretty much single-handedly raising four children. She was a talented dressmaker and artist, spoke many languages, and is the one I credit with my creative passion. My sister and I were always encouraged by Orma to paint, build, climb, sing, eat whatever we want and run wild. She was our Ormi. This house I'm caring for now was theirs. Big and old, it's certainly seen better days. But it is my family's house. It has hosted four generations of Langeneggers. And the memories here will be everlasting. Orma moved to a home recently, that's why I'm here. And whilst I spent most days of my childhood at this house, it was always with Orma and Orpa. The connection I've found to them whilst living here is the inspiration behind this film. Through the numerous boxes of photos and age-old possessions, I've been given such a deeper context and understanding of their lives and the lessons and values they've passed on. The Langenegger family crest always had been hanging in the front room. I forever thought of it as an ornate decoration, but now it and the Langenegger name mean so much more. People always struggle with the pronunciation, but I wear it as a badge of honour. Orpa's tape recorder. When he spoke, you listened. His wisdom and life experience was invaluable. I can imagine him being a commanding presence in a room and helping pass on knowledge to the next generation. To this day, I remember him once telling me, do the hard things first. I always thought this meant bringing the recycling bin out first before the rubbish, but clearly now I know there are some things in life you just can't put on hold and hesitate. Just go and do it. Orma's pattern book. The level of depth and sheer hours that would have been put into this astounds me. It's funny to think about all the years apart and Orma way back then was leading a similar creative path to me now. An old typewriter. As I create this film from my laptop, on my camera, and with all the available technology at my disposal, this typewriter stood out to me as a reminder of the small beginnings not only Orpa and Orma came from, but the world as a whole. They truly were a bridge between different worlds. This little red cart. For me, that sense of play, fun, and pure joy was encapsulated in this red cart. I was too young to remember getting this for Christmas, so finding the cart itself and these videos on VCR certainly brought back the memories of this house, Orma and Orpa. 
My sister, cousins and I truly were blessed to have such loving, caring and wonderful grandparents to share moments like these with. This beautiful connection to these items, to this house and to them is really powerful and I'm grateful of the fact I get to spend time here sorting through these things because I've learnt that in themselves that's all they are is just things, objects or possessions but how they connect my Orma and Orpa to me and my family in the various stages of our lives has reminded us of the beautiful life they had and we'll always remember them as. They came to Australia with not much and now have four children, nine grandkids and about to be five great grandkids. We will always love them and thank them for their hard work, love and their legacy.